Welcome to Fire Deliverance Ministries with God's servant Tammy Carter, where we expose the devil. The Lord showed me the church is asleep. They're in praise and they are in worship, but they are asleep. Even through the preaching of the word, they're still asleep. And Jesus sent his servant into the harvest to awaken the church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good Sunday morning to your Polk County. This is God's servant, Tammy Carter with Fire Deliverance Ministries located in Vero Beach, Florida. And can somebody magnify the Lord with me on this morning? Can somebody give God some praise? Glory be to God. The first Sunday in February of 2022. And God has kept you. God has carried you. And God God has covered you. That's something to praise the Lord for. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints of the living God. My brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus, we got something to praise the Lord for on this Sunday morning because he's good. Come on, somebody. God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank you as always for tuning in to the broadcast. You can join me every Sunday morning at 7.45 a.m. right here on your very own Esperanza Radio. Glory be to God. Wherever you are at listening to this broadcast, whether you are in Lake Wales, Winter Haven, whether you are in Haines City, City, Davenport, Frostproof, I welcome you on this morning. I welcome you to Fire Deliverance Ministries, where we expose the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. God and praise God. I want to go into part two on this um, Sunday morning pertaining to don't you bow. Come on, somebody. Hey, God. Regardless of what you're facing, regardless of what you're going through, don't you bow. You got to stand courageous. You got to stand bold in God. Hallelujah. Don't you know? God, that your God, my God, our God is the king of the world. He's in the midst of his people. I was studying my word on this morning and I was um, reading about when David wanted to build God a house. Understand saints of God, the ark of the covenant. God walked among the children of Israel through the ark in the ark of the covenant. My God, when God said I moved from tent to tent, I have not been in a house, but he was a amongst his children. He's the same God that is amongst us today. When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, oh my God, when that body becomes the, the vessel, the temple for the living God, God is with you. Oh, yeah, God, you got to know it, believe it, and receive it, that the Father is right there with you. Oh my God. Woo, glory. That's something to know that we serve the living God. Our God is not made of wood. Oh my God. Our God is not made of plastic. Our God is not made of, 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 of anything that's made by the hands of man. But our God is the invisible God. Oh my God. Oh glory. I get excited knowing that I'm a 
child of the living God. Come on, somebody. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory. I want to say today, if you are in the need of prayer, you can contact the ministry at 772-940-940. 4126. If you just want to text and say, woman of God, pray for me. I'm dealing with something. Just pray for me. Glory be to God. That's between you and God. Ooh, glory. In the name of Jesus, just reach out and understand that God is in the midst of his children. Well, let me go into prayer at this time. And then I want to go into the word because my time is short. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray today that you would forgive me of every sin, oh God. I pray that you would sanctify and purify this vessel, oh God, to enter into the presence of a holy king. I bow and I worship your God and I bring up your children on today, oh God. I speak a blessing over their lives. I Cancel every curse, oh God, and I send it back to the sender. Oh, God, God, and I send the curse and the sender back to the pits of the abyss from which they come in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus over your children. I plead the blood of Jesus over the lost, the last, and the least. I plead the blood of Jesus over this nation, over this country, God. Oh, God, God. God, I pray for the captives today that they will be set free by the power of the living God. Glory, God. And Lord God, we just thank you today. We thank you, Lord God, for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the saving grace and the saving power. Oh, God. Then one day, God, we want to see you face to face, God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Help us to make it in. Help us to see you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us that our living is not in vain, God. God, oh glory, God, and I thank you for hearing your servant on today, God, and I thank you for doing it on today, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Saints of God, I prayed, I mean, my word on last Sunday was about don't you bow, and I was speaking on King Nebuchadnezzar and the image that he built, glory be to God, and he wanted everybody to bow down to this image, and there were three Hebrew boys, glory be to God, as there was Daniel, that they were not going to bow to the enemy. And I'm here to warn you this morning, don't you bow. Glory be to God. Uh, But let's go to Daniel um, uh, chapter three, and I'm going to begin at verse 16. Um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee. Come on, somebody. Do you got an if not in your spirit? Huh? He, they say, if not. Be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now remember, he had favor with him, but because they would not bow, hallelujah, now he's upset and he's mad. Therefore, he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be healed. I mean, heat it. 
and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hoses, in their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo! I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of God. Glory be to God. Saints hear me when I say, don't you bow. Hi, you gotta say God. It don't matter how hot. Oh my God, that life turns up on you. Understand that just like Jesus was with the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace, God is with you on today. Understand, saints of God, God can use that trial, hallelujah, to get the glory, hallelujah, from your story. He can use what he used. And if he choose to use you, continue to stand. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Come on, somebody. Stand in God. And don't you bow. You got to be like the three Hebrew boys. Glory be to God. Oh, my say God. If somebody have, but if not, if God choose to do it, he's still God. And if he choose not to do it, he's still God. Glory. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And then this um it, it was one day on uh, uh last week of uh that I was studying out of chronicles and i was uh, um studying about um what happened to king saul so you got to understand you got to understand why the kingdom was stripped from saul because saul bowed come on somebody saul bowed to the people instead of obeying god i'm gonna go to the scripture second go to first chronicles chapter 10 and i'm going to begin with verse 8 and it came to pass on the morrow when the Philistines came to strip the slain that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto their idols into the people. And they put their armor in the house of their gods and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all of Jabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they rose all the violent men and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons and brought them to Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counselor of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. You see, saints of God, when you bow, oh my God, to the enemy, and you go against the word of God and the will of God, you are rejecting God. And my God, don't you understand the wrath of God is going to locate you one day. Ah, 
don't let it be you, my friend. Don't let it be you, my sister. Don't let it be you, my brother. You got to understand, here it is. Saul, a man chosen by God to be the king over his people. The same man that God um, lifted up, but he took him down because he did not obey God. Saints of God, don't you bow. Don't bow to the devil. Don't disobey God because you don't want, hallelujah, your judgment to be what Saul's judgment was. Oh my God. Ah, God. I pray that this word encourages someone on today. My time has come. My time is gone until next Sunday. Know that the woman of God loves you and Jesus loves you.